Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making this watercolour sketchbook. It's a handmade sketchbook and I've made it using mustard coloured leather to match the pouch that I made in the video before last. Um, so before we go on to that though, I wanted to just give you a little update from my previous video, which was my birthday haul. Um, I did find the pen that I was missing in the last video. This is the um, the other kawaii pen that I bought um, and it's actually my favourite because it's got this little pom-pom on it which is really fun. So um, now I did also test these pens for um, to see whether they're waterproof and unfortunately they're not so I'll just show you here. That'll focus. So I wrote down testing if this is waterproof um, and then I went off to have my dinner, came back so it, it gave it a good you know half an hour to dry and uh, it smudged. Also the day after I made my birthday haul video I received another gift and this was the cutest thing. It's a mini metal watercolour palette and it's in the vintage style. Now I actually saw this on Eve Bolt's YouTube channel. Um, go and check her out, she's really great and I think she's just as obsessed with watercolour palettes um, as I am. And she actually bought this from an online seller here in the UK, I'll leave the links in the description. Um, and I absolutely loved it because it reminded me of my vintage watercolour palette, which is this one here. So as you can see, it's got that similar domed pyramid kind of lid. And I wanted to fill this with a nice selection of colours, so I decided to grab some from my Winsor & Newton professional kit. So I chose eight colours to put in here for the time being. I might change them, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to like this range together. Um, but what I have here is I have Burnt Sienna, Permanent Carmine, uh, this one here is a Rowney uh, one, it's Chrome Orange Deep, and then back to Windsor & Newton we have here, this is Windsor Yellow. Then here we have Ultramarine, Cerulean Blue, Sap Green and Raw Umber. Now I'm not sure if I want two browns in here, I'm going to see how I get on. I might actually get my Payne's Grey out of the vintage one and swap it um, with one of the browns. But I'm going to see how I get on with that. Um, also in here I've got another vintage propelling pencil because that fits in nicely. I've also got my small Winsor & Newton travel brush and the Muji lip brush which I use as a travel brush. So those three fit in there nicely. So I'll swatch these later on in this book along with my new Sennelier watercolours that I set up in my last video. Um, but first of all, let's get this DIY sketchbook party started.
there we have it. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this. Now it wasn't a tutorial video, it was more a, a watch me make this video because there are plenty of brilliant tutorials out there already on YouTube. I'll leave a couple of links in the description. Um, but one of the best ones for showing you how to do the binding is Sea Lemon. Um, that's a great channel for, for book binding. So anyway, so now I have a matching set here um, and I want to give it a go. So I'm going to grab out from my travel watercolour pouch one of my brushes. just want to grab the one that I've already wet and used the other day. This one, number 10, I think. Yep, so let's use that one. Now, in my birthday haul video, I showed you how I got six new Sennelier watercolours. They were tube colours, so I had to put them, um, arrange them into my kit by squeezing the tube colours into pans. So I've left them to dry, um, so I'm going to give them a try now. being I don't mind the selection that I've already got in my mini kit. It would be nice to have a Payne's Grey but for the time being I, I'm quite enjoying the browns and the greens that you can make using the two different types of browns. Um, I'm also really liking the Sennelier colours. With this one here I don't think I'd cleaned my brush enough so it went a bit muddy at first so I did another little swatch here and you can see that the orange colour is a lot brighter than my muddy swatch would suggest. So just hold that up closer for you. I particularly love the kind of um, saturation of these three here and the green umber is also really really interesting. Um, so uh, yeah I'm pretty pleased with those. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.